how to use JSON file as a configuration file in YPath so we can easily customize and fine tune our automation parameters without having to modify the project code. Hi Marcelo and be welcome to my channel. So let's get started and first we need a JSON file already with some parameters. So here we can see one that has two sections, the settings section and the constant section which on with on parameters. So I'll leave on the description of this tutorial a link so you can download this file. So uh, our goal is to have access to these parameters on a dictionary variable to then we can use it, uh, uh, the dictionary and access uh, the parameters along the automation. So first of all, let's uh, create here a variable that will be a dictionary that will store uh, the values, the parameters from uh, the JSON file. So here on variables, uh, let's uh, create a variable dic underscore config. And so it will be a variable of type dictionary where the key will be a string and the value will be an object. So now let's just make sure you initialize these variables. So here let's insert on default new dictionary of string comma object. Now that we have the variable that will store the parameters from the JSON file, we need now to read the text from the file. And to read the text, it's simple. So let's here search for the activity read uh, text. So here we can see the read text file activity. So let's drag it to our project. So let's here uh, indicate uh, the file that we want to read. So it's indicated. So let's just declare a variable to start the output. So the text from the file. So here, str config file text. And also let's just store here uh, the file name on a variable, str config file name and paste it here. And now let's just call here the variable. Now looks better. So now just see if it's working as expected. Let's just use a message box. And now let's call here the variable that stores the text and let's just run here the, the automation and see if we are able to see the text. So here we can see it, so it's working well. So let's just stop and let's remove the message box. So after reading the text from the JSON file, we want to disrealize the JSON. So basically we'll take the JSON data, basically the text from the JSON file and convert it, transform it into an object. So basically then we can work easily with the JSON data. So to disrealize the JSON, we need first install activities package. So here on our package, let's search for ypath.webapi.activities. So let's install the package. And now let's search for the serialized JSON. And here we can see it. So basically, so as input, this activity receives the JSON string. So we have it on the str config file text variable. Then uh, type argument, let's here choose the Newton soft dot JSON dot link dot G object. And now let's declare uh, a variable to start the output that will be a JSON object. So let's declare here. And that's it. So now we have to create a loop for each parameter type that we have on our files. 
So we have the settings and constants. So let's first create a variable that will be array of string. And let's define a default value. So it will be settings and constants that this array will store. So here for settings. And then here constants. So then let's use here a for each activity. And let's here iterate the values from the array that we have declared right now. And let's just change the item nomenclature to current parameter type. So or its settings or its constants. And let's also rename here the for each to for each parameter types, just to be more clear. And then uh, we first iterate through each parameter type. And then when we are iterating a parameter type, we want to iterate through each parameter that it's related to that parameter type. So now here, Let's use another for each activity. And now here let's, uh, uh, so the list of items that we want to iterate, so are on the JSON object config variable that uh, receives here the serialized JSON. Then let's add here dot select token open parentheses and now let's pass here the current parameter type so basically by this way we will get we'll do a loop for each a parameter from the current parameter type and now here for each parameter just be more clear so first we are doing a loop for each parameter type and then when we are iterating parameter type we will create a loop for each parameter that belongs to that parameter type. And now we will need to change the type argument on the for each activity but on one of the latest releases from YPath they removed the type argument property from the for each and I'm not sure why but I hope they bring back that property so because we don't have it we will have to do a workaround to, to get the name or the value from the parameter so let's just see if it's working well so let's add here a log message and now so uh, the workaround so we have to uh, do a direct cast to the current parameter to uh, a json object so basically let's use here direct cast current parameter and so uh, so here now let's insert newton soft dot json dot link dot g object so if we had the type argument on the for each we wouldn't need to do that so maybe at the moment that you are looking to this tutorial uh, ypath bring back uh, the type argument property to the for each i hope so then uh, let's add here dot select token and now here let's insert the token so uh, what we want to get from the parameter so here we can get the description name or the value so let's get the name of fish parameter so here let's add name and then let's add here dot to string and let's see how it's working so let's execute the project and here we can see each parameter name on the lock so it's working as expected so now that we know that we are able to get each parameter from the config file let's uh, assign so each parameter to our config dictionary so to have each parameter to our uh, dictionary it's uh, pretty simple so we'll have to use an assign activity inside here of the loop 
where we are going through each parameter that we have on the JSON file. And first, we'll have to add a new key to our dictionary per each uh, parameter. So then we can assign to that uh, key uh, the value of the parameter. So let's go first for the key. So we have here to call the dictionary, open parentheses. And now we can use what we have here on the log message. So here we are getting the name of the parameter that we will use as the key on the dictionary. And now uh, we can copy also what we have here on the log message for the value, but uh, we have here to replace name by value. So by this way, we will assign the value of the parameter to the dictionary. And that's it basically. So now to easily see if fish uh, parameter it's added to our dictionary, let's just add here in the hand a right line activity and let's toggle a breakpoint. So now we run the project in debug mode and it will stop here and we will be able to see uh, the values, uh, the parameters added to our dictionary. So here uh, we can see on the locals panel the deconfig variable and here you can see uh, so each parameter that was uh, added to our dictionary and we can so notice that uh, how the parameters were added to our dictionary so now uh, just we can test if we go to the immediate panel we can here so for example let's get the value from uh, the max retries parameter. And here we can see that we got the value. So we indicate the key and then so we get the value that it's related to that key. And that's basically it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and enable notifications bell so we will get notified on each new tutorial released on the channel.